light introduction light is a form of energy which gives us the sensation of sight you can even see your image in water steel plates spoons etc you will appreciate the fact that images are visible only on polished surfaces reflection is the cause of image formation reflection whenever light falls on a polished surface it bounces back in the opposite direction this movement of the light back into the medium in opposite direction is reflection the amount of light that is reflected depends on the material and nature of the surface on which the light falls an opaque body absorbs some of the light that falls on it and reflects the remaining light a transparent body allows almost all the light to pass through it and reflects very little light a smooth and highly polished surface such as a shiny stainless steel surface or a mirror reflects almost all the light that falls on it there are laws which govern the process of reflection they are called the laws of reflection before studying the laws let us understand the process of reflection place a plane mirror on a drawing sheet and mark its edge with a pencil remove the mirror and with the help of set square draw a perpendicular from a point o on the line of the mirror place the mirror back on the line take two pins and place them in front of the mirror on one side of the perpendicular one behind the other observe the image of pins from the other side of the perpendicular line fix two more pins on the line of the image of the pins you had fixed earlier remove the mirror and the pins and join the lines of the pins on both sides of the perpendicular with a pencil and scale mark the mirror line as mm the perpendicular as on which is called the normal the line joining the first pair of pins as io i and the line joining the second pair of pins as ro r i is the incident ray and r is the reflected ray measure the angle ion and angle ron you will find that angle ion is equal to angle ron law of reflection there are two laws of reflection the angle of incidence that is the angle formed between the incident ray and the normal is equal to the angle of reflection that is the angle formed between the reflected ray and the normal thus angle i is equal to angle r the incident ray reflected ray and the normal lie in the same plane characteristics of mirror image the characteristic of the image formed vary depending on the type of mirror used the characteristics of the image formed by plane mirror are size Look at yourself in a dressing mirror while moving back and forth. Look at the image of various objects around you. You will find that the size of the image is exact replica of the size of the object. Kind of image. When you see yourself in the mirror, you find yourself standing upright. So, a plane mirror forms an upright also called erect image. the distance of the image from the mirror as compared to that of the object stand in front of the mirror and then move back and forth observe the image closely you will find that when you move closer to the mirror the image also seems to move closer and when you move away from the mirror the image also seems to move further away the reason is that in a plane mirror the distance of the image from the mirror is equal to the distance of the object from the mirror the side mirror in any auto vehicle makes the virtual image of the vehicle behind it regular and irregular reflection reflection taking place from a plane smooth surface is said to be regular reflection here all incident rays are parallel to each other and all reflected rays are also parallel to each other irregular reflection also known as diffused reflection is the reflection taking place 
from an uneven surface. Here, the incident rays are parallel but reflected rays are not. We are able to see all the things around us by irregular reflection. Lateral Inversion If you stand in front of the mirror and see your image, what do you observe? You observe that your left hand becomes your right hand and your right hand becomes left. The same happens for your ears. The phenomena in which the left of an object appears to be the right and right appears to be the left is called lateral inversion. Have you wondered why the ambulance has the words on its front written inverted? This is because the drivers of the vehicles in front of the ambulance can view the correct word in their rear view mirror and make way for it to go. Types of Images Two types of images are formed by a mirror. Real image The image that can be obtained on a screen is called real image. It is formed when light rays after reflection or refraction actually intersect each other. Virtual image The image which is called a virtual image is formed when light rays after reflection or refraction do not actually intersect each other but they appear to diverge from it. Geometrically, they intersect when they are produced in backward direction. Multiple reflection When two mirrors are placed in front of each other at a slight angle, they form many images. This phenomena is called multiple reflection. The number of images formed depend on the angle between the mirrors. You might be thinking that when one plane mirror forms one image, then two plane mirrors together will form two images. However, this is not true. By varying the angle between the two mirrors, we can get any number of images. Kaleidoscope The principle of forming multiple images by mirrors at an angle to each other is used in kaleidoscope. It consists of three plane mirrors inclined at an angle of 60 degrees to each other. The arrangement is kept in a cylindrical cardboard box with a few pieces of colored glass at one end. The mirrors form multiple images of the glass pieces resulting in beautiful patterns when seen from the other end. On rotating the cylindrical box, the pattern changes continuously as the position of the glass pieces shift. To make your own kaleidoscope, firmly tape three mirror strips together so that they form an equilateral triangle with the shiny surfaces facing inwards. Take a piece of cardboard of the same length as the mirror strips. Tape it in place. Cover the two open ends of the cardboard with clear tracing paper and tape it. At one end, place some broken pieces of colored glass bangles inside the enclosure. Tape some cellophane paper on top of the plastic, leaving enough space between the plastic and paper for the bangle pieces to move. Your kaleidoscope is ready. Look through the kaleidoscope to see beautiful patterns. The beautiful patterns that we see in a kaleidoscope are due to multiple reflection. Phenomena of Light, Refraction and Dispersion Light can travel through various mediums like air, glass, water and oil. When light passes from one medium to another, it bends at the surface separating them. The bending of light when light travels from one medium to another is called refraction of light. The image produced by a magnifying glass is due to refraction. Refraction can also cause white light to split into different colors. For example, sunlight and torchlight are the mixtures of lights of different colors. When the light from these sources bends sharply due to refraction, the colored lights it is made up of get separated. When lights of all colors are mixed in a certain proportion, the result is a colorless light called white light. Sunlight is an example of white light which is a mixture of seven colors. On refraction, lights of different colors bend by different amounts. So, when light made up of different colors gets refracted, its components tend to split. 
the splitting of light into its component colors on refraction is called dispersion of light the band of colors produced when the white light is split up is called spectrum uses of plane mirrors plane mirrors find various uses in our day to day life some of them are listed below they are commonly used as looking glasses at homes and showrooms they are used in big showrooms to provide false dimensions in the showcases they are used in solar cookers for focusing sun rays they are used in parlor boutiques to get the back view they are used in kaleidoscope and periscope get a plane mirror of a suitable size place it in a bowl fill the bowl with water put this arrangement near a window in such a way that direct sunlight falls on the mirror adjust the position of the bowl so that reflected light from the mirror falls on a wall if the wall is not white fix a sheet of white paper on it reflected light will be seen to have many colors the mirror and water form a prism which breaks up the light into its colors it is called dispersion rainbow is a natural phenomena showing dispersion of light i we are able to see the things around us due to light falling on our eyes the light from luminous bodies falls on non luminous bodies and makes them visible this incident light is reflected back by the object surface and enters the eyes an irregular surface results in diffused reflection and the reflected light rays reach the eye the light sensitive area in the eye called retina receives them and transmits them to the brain the brain in turn interprets the image and the things thus become visible luminous objects are visible because of the light emitted by it the eye can also distinguish between various colors this quality is limited to a few animal species besides human beings rest all other animals cannot differentiate colors structure of human eye on an average a human eye measures around 2.5 cm an eye consists of a round structure called the eyeball the front part of the eye is called cornea it is a transparent membrane behind the cornea is collection of muscles controlled by the iris the iris has a hole in the center called the pupil iris is that part of eye which gives it its distinctive color behind the pupil a jelly like substance makes up the lens of the eye the region between the cornea and lens is filled with a transparent fluid called aqueous humor ciliary muscles hold the lens in their position when light rays reach the lens of the eye passing through the pupil they bend and form an inverted image on the retina the rods and cones present in the retina convert the image into an electric impulse which is transported through the optic nerve to the brain rods are sensitive to dim light whereas cones are sensitive to bright light yellow spot is present in the center at the back of the eye it is responsible for bright and color vision blind spot is present just below the yellow spot this is the area of no vision nature has provided eyes with eyelids to prevent any object from entering the eye eyelids also shut out the light when not required make a round mark and a cross on a sheet of paper with a spot to the right of the cross the distance between the two marks may be 6 to 8 cm hold the sheet of paper at an arm's length from the eye close your left eye look continuously at the cross move the sheet slowly towards you what do you find does the round mark disappear at some point now close your right eye look at the round mark now repeat the activity does the cross disappear the disappearance of cross and round mark shows that there is a point on the retina which cannot send messages to the brain when light falls on it look into your friend's eye observe the size of the pupil throw light on his or her eye with a torch 
observe the pupil now switch off the torch and observe her pupil once again do you notice any change in the size of the pupil in which case was the pupil larger why do you think it was so i care eyes are a very important organ of our body thus taking proper care of the eyes is very important the most important thing is the diet we take our food should have a rich supply of vitamin a we should visit an eye specialist in case of any problem one should wear spectacles if advised proper light arrangement is necessary for our eyes too much or too less light might cause eye strain or headache we should not look directly at a very strong source of light like the sun or a bulb in case any dust particles enter the eye we should wash our eyes rather than rubbing them which might harm the eyes reading should be done by keeping the book at the right distance from our eyes we should keep washing our eyes regularly we should also limit the viewing of mobile and tv screens defects of vision some persons can see objects close to them clearly but cannot see distant objects so clearly on the other hand some persons cannot see objects close by clearly but they can see distant objects quite well with suitable corrective lenses these defects of the eye can be corrected there are two defects of vision in a human eye short sightedness or myopia a person suffering from myopia can only see the nearby objects clearly but he cannot see the distant objects this defect occurs because of the images of these objects are not formed on retina but in front of retina this defect can be corrected by using a concave lens having suitable focal length long sightedness or hypermetropia a person suffering from long sightedness or hypermetropia can see the distant objects clearly but he cannot see nearby objects clearly because the image of the object is formed behind the retina to remove this defect the person is advised to use convex lens of suitable focal length the ability of eye lens to change the power of lens to accommodate the near and far off distances is called the power of accommodation the power of accommodation takes place by contraction and relaxation of the ciliary muscles there is a limit to power of accommodation of eye if an object is at a distance less than 25 cm of eye it cannot be seen clearly without a strain on eye this distance of 25 cm is called least distance of distant vision the far distance of a normal eye is infinity visually impaired people blindness is not an uncommon problem in the world around 180 million people in the world are blind a person is blind because either the image is not formed inside his eyes or the image falling on the retina does not reach the brain and thus is not interpreted by it to cope up with the blindness the braille system is a great help braille system is a method of reading for the blind it was developed by louis braille in france in early 1800 it works on a 6 dot braille cell it is embossed on a thick paper 